Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? Happy Monday. I'm Tawanda. Welcome to the channel. I'm here to give you a quick message. Hopefully, it's one of motivation or inspiration. Uh, even though I just witnessed some crazy stuff. Like, right before I was about to sit down and get this um, session started, I'm already pressed for time, so it won't be a long message, so bear with me. Um, right when I was getting ready to sit down, I heard a loud boom. Like, a horrible, horrible accident. <laughs> like, you just knew it was bad before you even see it. Um, no tire screeching or anything like that. Um, so, I went downstairs to go see what it was, because I'm like, Lord... Please don't let it be my vehicle. You know, that would have been shit. Three hits in one year. But anyway. Um, so I went, I need to take out some garbage anyway. So I ran a bag of garbage down there so I could see at the same time. Some lady was chasing her boyfriend. I don't know if it's his vehicle or I don't know what they I don't know what the issue is, but the security officer said he snatched her license plates off the car. <laughs> and she tried to run him over with her car. Now, if y'all could just see the way everything is positioned, it's crazy for you to try to hit him right there anyway. Oh, my God. So, now this lady car is stuck up on the gate. It's like this on the incline. This is the top of the gate. The gate pushed over, but her car is like stuck up on the incline. Is she on the phone? Just to tell her a whole different version to the <laughs> emergency. <laughs> now one one or whatever. But that ain't my business, but I don't know. That could be relevant to this message. I don't know what y'all got going on. If somebody has some kind of domestic violence going on this weekend. Let's see what comes out in this reading. I was hoping it's going to be something positive. But let's see. The man ran off, by the way. He gone. So she's left to deal with that by her liberation. Look, somebody got free from that shit. But let's see what comes out. That ain't even from the deck that I was getting. Health, yeah, this could be an unhealthy situation or a situation that's affecting somebody's health. Holy Spirit, what is the message that you have for the viewer this morning? Relationships, listen, toxic relationships. Y'all hear that uh, fire in the back? Somebody in that car is hurt. I don't know if anybody else was in there but that lady, but somebody is hurt. Somebody is hurt. Somebody, yeah, they pride her too. Somebody is hurt emotionally, mentally, physically. Mm. Well, gratitude. Mm. Maybe somebody should look at, listen, sometimes people take us out of character. Oftentimes, we get out of character due to our emotions uh, or any projections that we may place on a person, place, thing, situation, idea, whatever. And I've been talking about acceptance a lot more lately. Um, I was telling one of my cousins, you know, acceptance is one of the hardest lessons that we all have to learn um, and master here on earth right and here's an example of that clearly whatever the situation is is toxic okay and instead of walking away or liberating yourself freeing yourself from a situation you want to take matters into your own hands regardless of what another person may have done because they say um, what a person does to you is between them and God but what you do in response is between you and God, right? So even though that person could have wronged this lady, her trying to kill him with her vehicle, that's not okay either. And with that gratitude, I just saw like, Somebody here could be going through a situation where someone is 
you're allowing someone or a situation, a place, something to get you out of character. It's time to rein that back in before you get out of control and do something that you really don't mean to do or something that you're going to regret doing later. Now, this lady has damage that she's going to have to pay for from damaging that gate the way it is. One side of the gate is flat on the ground. The other side, and this is raw iron fencing. The other side, like I said, is on the, it's, it's bent. It's on the incline, so it's going to have to be completely removed and completely replaced. Um... In addition to the vehicle that she was driving, that vehicle is going to be over with. Total. And I, for one, definitely knows how that feels. I just had a vehicle totaled out in August. You know, that's always an unexpected expense. Nobody expects to have to replace a vehicle, whether it be new, old, whatever. Even if you got the best of insurance, you're not going to get the actual value that, that that vehicle was. So you're going to take a loss. To some extent. Right. So be more mindful. About what is going on. And how you're responding. Um, and if you're, if you're at a place. Where your stress level. Won't allow you. To respond to a situation calmly. It's time for you to take a break from life. It's time for you to take a break. From everything and everybody. And push back. Nurture on yourself. Like seriously. And I'm speaking from experience because, um, again, that, that accident that I just had in August, it put a lot of stress on me. A lot of stress just because of everything else that I had going on in my life at the time. Um, and thank, thank God, you know, um, I was able to get another vehicle, but still, just the whole situation, how it all occurred, like, it just was too much. And I was just healing from the accident I had in January. Both of those situations were situations that I could not control. Both times, somebody ran into me, and the way, there was nothing I could do about it. But the stress from resulting from both of those situations, especially the one in August, it had me snapping at people and just being in a low vibrational state, not myself. If you're feeling that way, take this as a confirmation for you to just step back from everything. Because when you're in a state like this, um, it's, it's going to be difficult to, for you to respond with calmness to anything. The smallest thing is upsetting you, you need to take a step back. Because at this point, the problem is not only what got you to that point, the triggers that led you to that point, but the problem is you. And allowing yourself to be controlled in such a manner without... Nurturing on yourself, loving on yourself, taking care of yourself, doing grounding yourself, doing whatever it is you need to do. Maybe you ain't had no sex in a while. Maybe you ain't uh, been able to exercise or just have some free time, some me time, whatever. I don't know what it is, but you could need some outlet, some way to release some stress. Okay. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I feel like someone does. Because what I just witnessed outside, what I heard before I even went out there, in the cars that came out, there's no coincidence. This is what needed to be talked about. And even after that, the lady told me, I hear her you stupid ass bitch. <laughs> But who looking stupid though? 
I don't know these people, so it's not it's nothing personal. I don't I don't know him or I don't know I don't know these people. I don't think they from around here. It just was some they on their way somewhere. It was a domestic incident. Don't allow somebody to weaponize your feelings. And if you're getting triggered by someone's words, actions, or behavior, you need to take some time to take a step back and examine why those words, actions, or behavior trigger you. Yeah, they could be wrong. It could be something bogus. But why does it trigger you in such a manner? Where does that come from? What is the root of the trigger? Getting to that, finding that, rectifying that, is your responsibility because you can't be happy living like that stressed out snapping on people snapping you know just that's that's being out of control and i'm sure your anxiety is causing your body to feel a certain type of way it's time to take a step back focus solely on yourself if you have children, get them, you know, what they need and focus on you. You have to right now. You got to rein yourself back in. Because when you're mad, upset, and out of control like that and overstressed, making even the simplest decisions are bad. And then you'll end up bleeding on people that didn't cut you. And oftentimes it's those closest to us, our loved ones, are catching the brunt of those unchecked emotions, of those unhealed wounds. So, take a step back to heal. Do it for you and those you love, the ones closest to you. Mm. Take it how it resonates, okay? If you know this is you, you probably were guided to listen to this message. Just think about it. If you need some help with shadow work, email me. I can give you some guidance, okay? The healing inputs at gmail.com. T H E H E A L I N G E M P R E S S at gmail.com. Yeah. If you can, sit outside for a while. If that's not feasible, do something that makes you feel calm or happy. But I feel like you really need to release. And we're in a new moon season. New moon season. The new moon cycle is all about new beginnings. Thinking about new beginnings. Not even planning yet, but just brainstorming ideas. Maybe you could do that. Start brainstorming some ideas and some ways that you can potentially address these triggers. Okay? Take it how it resonates. I feel like this is a message of confirmation. If it's for you, you already know it's for you. If it's not, look through my titles. Maybe something else may resonate with you. And until next time, y'all, peace. Have a happy Monday on purpose. <laughs>